Hi there everybody, this is Delmar here, and I'm a little tired, and I just got off work as you could probably tell, but um, I've been wanting to make this video for a while, and it's really hard for me to try and make words. It's not like I'm depressed or anything, but it is sort of a serious matter because it's something that I think a lot of people probably know that I am Christian, but at the same time, I never really felt confident enough to talk about it online. Should I make mention about like God blessing me and, and saying bless a uh, God bless to you and also you know being positive about it but I've never really talked well about it or like had the courage to really speak about my relationship with God in front of people without you know sinking back in or being afraid of if I offend somebody or someone saying oh you are not for you do not know anything about Christ Christianity all this stuff like I is it there's something that I'm kind of nervous to talk about but honestly I just last night when I was at work I really felt like talking about it just making a video trying to express my love for God because I do love him granted I don't really fear him compared to what some people will probably say stuff like that but I, I think he's helped me out so much and just I, there's not a day goes by where I do try to talk to him and try my best to try to have a close relationship with him and I just figured I'd just make a video sharing my uh, journey of how I uh, began my life as a Christian and trying to become a good positive uh, p person about it yeah as you can tell I'm nervous to talk about this and I'm a little tired because work was rough last night but Regardless, let's just begin. Pretty much, um, my whole family was Christian. Uh, every Sunday when I was young, we would go to this little church uh, with a whole family. All of us went to the church, and it was a pretty nice church. But, like, I didn't really talk to God that much. Or I didn't, like, you know, talk to Him through my mind. I mean, we did pray every night before I go to bed, but I didn't think nothing much of it. I really didn't. But I think it wasn't... I mean, I did get baptized when I was 12, but I think it wasn't until um, during my teenager years, when I was in high school and stuff, I slowly started talking more to him. And not just like doing a whole prayer before I go to bed. I mean, like I actually talked to him like how I talked to somebody. Like if I was worried about somebody that I'm a close friend with or, or just wanted to talk to someone in general, you know, I would talk through my head. I'm not good with whispering because... My whispering went into regular talking, and I talked to, and most of the time I do talk to God like a friend, like a close person that I know personally, and I think that's something that I think everyone should do. You shouldn't just like talk to God one specifically, there's always multiple ways you could talk to him, but like I think during my teenage, teenage years that's when I start talking more to God, getting close relationship, but then when it comes to reading the Bible, that was a bit more difficult for me because, not saying that King James Version isn't bad, but it's hard sometimes to try to understand all through the text of how they wrote back then. And I'm not criticizing the King James Version at all. But at the same time, I did understand some parts, but there were some parts where it didn't make much sense uh, at the time. But luckily for me, there are alternate ways. Well, I mean, yes, face are those different ways of getting close to God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. But for me, i just been reading the New Living Translation version. Um, I got this, I think, probably like during the fall of last year or the beginning of this year. It's one of those two. But if you're having troubles with the King James Version, this one definitely helps a whole lot. I've been understanding a whole lot more. And over the last few years, I've been given to have a more understanding about all that Jesus has taught, what his apostles has spread messages to all the kings during that time, and just been feeling really good about myself, feeling that I could do anything, and I do feel comfortable uh, with him when I talk to him every day. There's not a day goes by now where I don't talk to him, have like a normal conversation with him, like I have with, like if I'm talking to my brother or Brandon or anyone, I just talk to him, like I do talk to him in on like a prayer, but I also talk to him in moments like a normal person. But at the same time, there's been some moments over the past few years where 
I start to get worried if I'm distancing myself. Not like say, oh, I'm not talking to as much or anything, but like more like I'm taking back steps. Like for example, if I got depressed, like last night, it was extremely rough and I was down to myself because I thought my boss was mad at me because I was behind because there was so much freight to stock that night or the fact that I was comparing myself to someone who's really good at his job and wondering how come I'm not having as less overstock compared to him or how come I'm not as quick as somebody and I feel like whenever that happens I start taking back steps like say a, a progression bar like as I'm doing good of talking and communicating and feeling good and when I start like down on myself or hurting myself in a way or just talk bad about somebody I start taking steps down from the progression bar to the 100% Christian person and stuff I feel like I've been taking back steps and I start to worry if I do stuff that might anger him and lately now I've been kind of nervous about you know my like my faith like am I not trusting enough or something if like I'm not putting enough faith within my Lord uh, or anything like that like I feel like I'm not putting enough effort in that he's not and if I don't then he won't pay attention to me as much or like trying to think of good example just feel like I'm not doing as much as a Christian should do and it does get rough sometimes whenever that happens I know back when I made my I need to talk about video which is still a great video that I was able to make because it the Lord gave me the strength to make that video to talk about the issues I have I still feel like that I was still taking back steps even after that video where not huge missteps but like where I feel like I'm not trying as hard uh, to do well with my faith like if I make the same mistake I did years ago if I keep constantly doing the same act that it would not be pleasing to him in a way but I just have to remind myself that I'm like everybody else I'm a human I make mistakes I sin I do stuff that I don't like that I know are bad and stuff like that but at the same time I just gotta remember that just because it feels like I'm taking back steps that doesn't mean the Lord doesn't hate you in any way he knows you're trying your best and even in moments where I feel like I'm displeasing him or something I know that he, that he knows that I'm trying my best and as long as I'm quick to forgive forgive others and just ask him to please let the Holy Spirit flow within me to help me feel good and confident then I shouldn't worry because he knows that we're gonna make mistakes and as long as we are quick to forgive and just ask for his forgiveness and help then he's always going to be there and I mean there, there are days where I do try to pray my hardest but sometimes I may not try as hard but that just makes me encouraged to try out the next time to say okay today was not good I didn't give him my all but it's not the end of the, end of the war that it was just a battle that I did not really do my best at, but I'm still going. There are more exciting days. Not every day is going to be like the best day ever, but I know that with the Lord by my side, that nothing can go wrong. And thankfully, it's been the, this year and last year have been so good to me. I know some people say otherwise, but for me personally, in my whole life position, I feel good. I may not be pitch perfect. Um, I may not have understand everything, but I know that with the Lord by my side, it's the journey worth going on. About two years ago, um, I had a breakdown, and a friend of mine took me into work, or took me into the break room side, so I could talk about it. And from the get-go, he is not, he doesn't look like an average person who would know God. And I mean, he doesn't like talk to him as much or anything, but he does understand because his brother was a missionary and he understood all that. And one of the things that he taught me or told me when he was helping me calm down was that heaven, though that the road to heaven is a bumpy road. And every time you go, because like 
people think, oh yes, Christianity will be easy, you know, just go pray and baptize and all this stuff. Like, it is pretty challenging, more challenging than anything I could say. Because getting to heaven, it's not just, it's not easy because you have to focus and try to be a good person, try to talk to God to get a close relationship, understand the Bible, or try to be good to people and forgive when they sin and stuff like that. It is a bumpy road, and for me, that definitely, that statement right there describes the situation like, yes, there are times where I lose some and sometimes I win. There are some things in life that I still don't understand. I may not have known everything or have the real power to try to speak what's on my mind in this situation, but I know that with the power of the Holy Spirit, the understanding of the words and messages of Jesus Christ and the love of God, I know that it's worth going on, that the road to heaven is worth going on despite the multiple bumps. Because it's when we get close to God, that just gives Satan a chance to try to enter in and try to, you know, make us feel bad or try to hurt us in some way. And sometimes even hurt ourselves. Like, there's been many times where I felt so bad about myself that I hit myself with cans or slap myself, hit myself, just all that stuff. But, like, when I do uh, continue on, on this journey of understanding of the Lord, Jesus, and everything that happened in the Bible, and just trying to be a good person, it'll be worth it in the end. There are times, well, I'm not going to lie, there's been many times, it doesn't happen a whole lot, but there's been many times where I do feel this whole internal peace within me, where I feel like everything is going fine, and ironically enough, a lot of times it's usually when I'm at work, like I'm in a peppy mood or like when I've accomplished something and I just feel this and holy spirit within me just feeling just like nothing can ruin me, nothing can touch me and I feel so safe and just so comforting like I'm in eternal peace and when those moments do happen they feel amazing they don't happen a whole lot but that gives me comfort knowing that I am on the right track I know there's going to be more times where I get depressed more or I make a mistake and hurt somebody unintentionally or something. And life is hard. Like, there are things in life that are evil and mean-spirited that can hurt you. But like, trying to get close to God and talking to Him every day, it gives me uh, comfort. And it helps me so much. And I know, I may not know everything. I may not have understand every riddle or understand every meaning in the Bible and all that, but as long as I try my best to try to be a good person all around, even if someone hurt me, I'll still forgive them and bless them eternally. If someone's having a bad day, I'll still pray for them. Moments where I feel like I'm not trying hard enough, I just have to remember that that Jesus will never abandon you. That as long as you believe in Him, follow His words, and keep his messages close to your heart, he'll always be with you. I know this video is kind of all over the map of where I'm going, but I want to talk more passionately and more confidently about my experience and my journey with God and on my road or the bumpy road to heaven. And I feel like this video, it's not, I mean, I talk to some people, but not as much, which I would love to, but I don't really know a whole lot of people I could talk to 24-7. So, I, I just want to try to experiment with this video to try to be more confident speaking about God and not be afraid of what people have to say. And I mean, I know some people say, Oh, you got Christianity on wrong, but there's no, there is no wrong, one way to get close to God and Jesus. There's none. There are alternate way, ways, like if you can't read the King James Version, try the New Living Translation. It's helped me get an understanding. And even when I watch uh, some like Christian based movies as such about the whole Bible and so forth it gives me a better understanding because I read the Bible so I know where this moment takes place and I understand the message behind it and I know I'm, I haven't discovered everything I'm still learning as I go but that's part of the fun and if you're struggling on that bumpy road to heaven just know that you'll be fine I'm, I'm, we're all in this together trying to be good people and all good people here on earth 
but try to feel that internal peace and love of Jesus Christ and uh, the Holy Spirit. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry if I kind of rabble, but again, I don't try to talk about as much, but I feel like when I was at work, I just had to make this video, and I hope it does well, and I hope I did well explaining it. So, if you are Christian or something, I guess you can share about how your journey has been, of how it's been going for you, of how you been, or how you started your journey on getting close with God and learning uh, the passion of Jesus. And yeah, um, thanks for watching this video, and I hope I did well. So, God bless you. Bye bye.